Cars capable of parking all by themselves would make life a lot easier. Automotive expert Casey Jordan is here with us. So let's talk about this. There are cars out there that can do this park automatically for you. Yeah, what happens is, is there's cars out there that have sensors on them that will detect the size of a parking space, determine if the vehicle will fit in the parking space, and then will actually do the steering for you so that you, all you have to do is just steer, uh, let the car steer into the spot, put the brake on, switch it between drive and reverse, and then put it in park, and then you're all done. So how scared should you be, though, initially? I would think initially I would be a little worried that I, that I might give over too much control to my vehicle. Well, you'll, actually, you'll ultimately have control of the vehicle itself mm -hmm. because you're going to be controlling the gas and the brake and things like that. And, of course, the best part is if things get out of control, you can always just put your foot on the brake and put it in park. All right. Which manufacturers are leading the way with this technology? You can see the video here. It's really amazing <laughs> to watch these cars park themselves. Well, the technology was originally induced, uh, introduced by Lexus back in 2006 on their LS series, and then Ford uh, Motor Company also has this feature, and uh, Toyota has it as well on several of their Prius models. So you can uh, automatically just buy this in, in as an option package in one of these vehicles and have this uh, feature for your vehicle. So how does it affect the cost overall of a new vehicle when you have this technology uh, included in the car? Well, it depends on the car that you're going for. Some of the cars will, some of the manufacturers will wrap it into a technology package, and it will cost several thousand dollars, which will get other features in it as well, like mm -hmm. navigation. Well, Ford uh, has priced it as an individual option uh, as low as $395 on a Ford Escape. Escape and maybe $600 on a, a Ford Focus. So it just depends upon the manufacturer and how it's grouped in the option packages. Now, one thing we've seen a lot of recently is uh, reverse cameras. Yes. Um, is that something that you think is going to be required uh, down the road for cars to have this capability? Well, last year, um, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration proposed a ruling that by 2014, every car would have a rear view backup camera. And uh, they are on vehicles now, and they're located in two spots. If you have a navigation system in your car, you'll generally get a readout on the navigation system. But if you don't have a navigation system, manufacturers are all putting rear view cameras in your rear view mirror. So there's actually a little screen in your rear view mirror that will give you an indication of what's happening behind you. Very interesting information. Thank you very much for You're being fine. with us today. Now, if we can just develop a car, and Casey says they actually do have these, they can find the parking spot all by itself. I'm, I'm on board for that. Casey, thanks for being with us today. If you have a question for Casey, be sure to email him, askcasey at kview.com. He'll be here next week answering some of those questions.